Welcome back to my channel, Subby. So today, I decided I'm going to do a quick, fun video. Since this is going to be a full-on audio, I want to just do a few disclaimers. Excuse my dear children in the back. Hopefully, I won't have any interruptions because all day, I've been definitely trying to get this out. I'm trying to think, excuse me, what I was going to say, how I was going to say it, and so forth. So... A little bit about me, as many of you probably could tell, Mia Jamaica. <laughs> I am an island girl, Florida raised, but of course I am, I'm currently in New Jersey. But I was talking to someone this week and we're just touching bases of where we're from and I just shared like certain things I did not like and they were like, yo. You need to get your Jamaican car reviewed, um, revoked. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do a quick video on some of the things I, as a Jamaican, don't like that will get my Jamaican car revoked. Of course, I've been here majority of my life versus um, living in Jamaica, so my accent could jump in and out. Some people could tell off back that, um, you know, I have um, some type of accent. Some people on the back, they don't pick it up, and then when I get upset, or excited, it comes out and they go, oh, you don't look Jamaican. I always said, what does a Jamaican look like? Because I think everyone has this, some have this stereotypical idea of Jamaicans and what we look like, how we sound, how we dress, and so forth. So, stay tuned for this video. Keep watching to learn the 10 things that will get my Jamaican card revoked. All right, so let's get into it. Of course, I could put this on my phone, but I wanted to go old school, and yes, I created a little post-it. Because I sat down and I said, let me do 10. For the most part, I was able to come up with 10 things that I know for sure from like the, the level one, the most pettiest, to like definitely Jamaican people, the last one people are like, how? So let's get into it. So 10 or 11 things that I will get my Jamaican car revoked. So, greater cake. Greater cake, let me tell you, greater cake is made with coconut, half is white, half is pink. I hate, I hate it. I dislike it. My grandmother used to buy it. My dad used to buy it. As a child, I thought it was the worst thing ever as a pastry. Um, it's, it's pretty much sweet. A lot of people do love it on the island. I went for one, I prefer my peanut cake and or gazada cake. I don't like grated cake. So grated cake, you could definitely go. Um, rolling from that, the next thing on my list that I do not like is soursop. Let me tell y'all. Soursop was like <laughs> something you would get um, for with Sunday dinner. And we had a tree in the backyard, so we couldn't, I couldn't even avoid it because my grandmother, whenever it would fall off or it would ripe, my grandmother, yo, she would just like pick it up, juice it. She did sweet, it wasn't sweet, sweetened with like sugar or anything. She would just juice it, did what she did, put her little nutmeg in it and give it to us. And we had to drink that. To this day, I walk past our stop and it's like, ugh. Now, I do see a lot of people are saying that it cures cancer, if that's the case. Not for nothing, I said we anti-cancer at this point, because the way how we grew up on sour sap juice, you, you would think that was the second source of life, besides water, our Jamaican lemonade <laughs> with lime and sugar water, and then, you know, sour sap juice. So, sour sap, mm -mm, can't do that. Breakfast stuff. I don't know if I'm going to say this right, but I'm going to just say it. Aminicon porridge. Ugh. Aminic. I don't know if you're aminic. Whatever. It's porridge with pieces of corn. Now, I think the corns are kind of um, dried and then they put it back in, put, put it in the, you know, the porridge and it's rehydrated. Me don't like aminicon porridge. I can't stand it. If I just taste it, I'm like spitting out the corn, which they say is a waste. Me don't like aminicon porridge. Rolling from that, banana and plant and porridge. Listen, I don't know what happened to cornmeal porridge that my people decided, you know what? Let's just start experimenting and doing crazy stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and 
do banana and plantain. Like, who came up with that? I don't like it. I think the taste, mm -mm. regular cornmeal porridge or cream of wheat, I'm good to go. So no to some banana and um, plantain porridge. Now, a few other things on my list. Now, this is the food. Now, this is where things got crazy. And the person was just like, really? You know, red herring. <sighs> now, red herring is a fish that's smoked. And I think from the smoke, being smoked, it gets like this darkened red color. I think red herring is, we said red herring, but I know it's like a red herring. It, it, disgusting. Now, in Jersey, I see a lot of my Africans, they use it. It's kind of like that flashback. No, <laughs> no, 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 I don't like it. I, the smokiness is potent. Now, I, you know, I eat smoked meats, but that red and ring stuff, my people can have. Rolling from that, rundung. Oh, where do I start with rundung? Rundung is a dish that is made with coconut milk and mackerel. Not the ones that come in the can, but the ones that you get like in the Caribbean stores in a bucket. Rundung for me is like, wow, it really got bad. I literally had a pause like, ooh. <laughs> Rundung for me is that bad. It's just horrible to me. I, I, I don't know how you have the coconut. Once again, there go my people using coconut and how we gonna incorporate it to mess up the lives of other stuff. Like, stop, you know, my crew alone by itself is pretty decent. Why are we gonna add coconut milk to it? Like, I, I just, I just, I can't get with it. Another thing on the list, tripe. Let's just have a moment for tripe. Now, they cook tripe with um, butter beans, the same beans that you put in oxtails. And they serve that usually with white rice. I'm just gonna move on from tripe because I don't I don't even entertain. <laughs> I don't even entertain tripe. You, I be like, you cook what? Goodbye. <laughs> now, these are the last three things that I got the crazy eye, not only from my mom and my sister, Simone. My mom and my sister Simone have like the same palettes. They love the craziness. So these last three things, my mom is kind of like a Jamaican parent, like where did she go wrong? What's she doing in life? Why I picked me, <laughs> like me, where I don't like, I don't like these last three things. This is kind of like the staple in our most Jamaican house. So, number one, chicken foot. Chicken foot, chicken feet, chicken foot, chicken little scratchies. No, <laughs> grew up eating it. I mean, in soup, all of a sudden it's a whirlwind of chicken foot option now. They curry chicken foot. Uh, my Haitians in foot, I've seen them stew chicken foot. And I'm like, Ugh. yo, when you island girl and you go home and you see the chicken like scratching the dirt, and he just running around and no, I'm, I'm good on the chicken foot. But chicken foot ain't going nowhere for the simple fact that, like I said, it's mostly in soup there. So if you go to a Jamaican's house on a Saturday, you you may be in luck for some doggone chicken foot soup. But for me, <laughs> it's enough. The next thing rolling in, cow foot. Boy, murder. Cow foot, cow foot, cow foot. My mom and my sister love them cow foots. Cow foot soup. Stew cow foot and rice. Now, I don't eat the cow foot, but I'll take the gravy and I'll eat it with rice. And my mom is like, what is wrong with this, this picnic? What is wrong with sheesh? I don't eat it. Mm -mm. I don't know if it's the, the gooeyness or the dribbleness of the, 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 the whatever that is. No, brother. Can I name the cow foot? I don't know all people eat cow foot. And my, when, when we had, um, what was that setup for my uncle when he passed, I think the soup that night and the soup the next day for the funeral was cow foot soup. Baby, I was in there picking <laughs> through the soup like, 
I'm not seeing no damn cow foot in here. My mama know I don't eat cow foot. But of course, when she ordered her, she just told the lady, go ahead and make the soup. So, you know, no consideration for Nicole and Nicole not eating cow foot, cow tongue, tripe, and all of that. So I'm sitting there eating soup and picking, like, no, nope, no, nope. my dad looking at me like, what wrong with this girl? I don't eat that. I, what? <laughs> no. And drum roll for the last thing I don't eat. Even my aunt was like, yo, something wrong with you. Pigtails. We're going to have a moment of silence for pigtail. Pigtail is a meal that's served in um, rice, I mean, rice and peas, aka rice and beans, red beans, kidney beans, whatever. Rice and, I mean, stew peas, sorry, stew peas. So, pigtails come in stew peas. <sighs> My mother get mad every time, even when I visit and she cooks stew peas, I am the one at the pot, like, don't put that, that tail in there. So, and she loses it, she loses it. My mom will just lose it. Caribbean store to get. It's in a bucket. It's in a brine. I think it's a salted brine to cure it. It's fat. It's literally salted and fat. So of course you scald it, you boil it, you strain it, you do all of that stuff. And you cut it up. And when you do your stew peas, you put it in. That, that, that alone should be a crime. A crime against nature because you ain't getting no damn meat off of that. It's, it's, it's salted. Like I don't understand. I'm okay with the spinners, um, the dumplings that come in there, and I'm okay with just the beans and rice. Like, no, I don't want no damn pigtail in my food. And my mom and my sister and other Jamaicans don't understand why poor looking the pool don't eat those things. I just don't. Growing up as a kid, I had no options, but as an adult, I'm gonna advocate for myself but don't eat that, but don't eat that, but don't eat that, 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 and they all look at me crazy and laugh. So, I know some of y'all gonna watch this and say, what kind of Jamaican is she? She don't eat that. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. No ham, no spam, no turkey. I'm not eating that. I am not eating that. Mm -hmm. But, but no, I'm not. <laughs> so those are a few things. If something else comes up, I may add it in the description what I don't eat. Of course, I would love to hear my Caribbean folks, my American folks, comment in the comment section and let me know what's something that your culture eats. I would say majority of them eat and you just don't eat. I know um, a lot of Americans always get the back and forth with chitlins. Never had chitlins before. Um, my, my friend from Tennessee, Latoria, she always talks about chitlin at Thanksgiving. And I have other friends that's like, chitlin, my friend's dad, he's like, I don't eat that. That's that slave stuff. And I always got that back and forth. So I guess chitlins would be like the American meal of winner yam <laughs> And of course, there's no place like home. I love, I love my oxtail, my fried chicken. I love my KFC. Shout out to Jamaican KFC, because let me tell you, until you've had our barbecue chicken and Tiesta's pate, uh, only got to eat But thanks for watching. As always, peace, love, and hope to see you in the next video.